You're watching CNN special coverage, Crisis in the Middle East. We want to give you a quick update now on the Israeli, the Israeli military that ground assault in Gaza. Thousands of troops have rolled into the territory targeting Hamas militants. The overnight hours have been filled with explosions and machine gun fire, much of which you can see there. Hamas is vowing that its fighters will battle to the very last breath. And Israeli officials say the operation could be long lasting. Also tonight, we have learned that New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg is headed to Israel as a show of support for the Jewish state. We know what the internet, internet now makes it possible for ordinary people to communicate with the entire world at the speed of light, even from the middle of a war zone. Leila El Haddad is a Palestinian journalist. She writes a blog called A Mother from Gaza. She joins us from Riley, North Carolina. Her father joins us now from Gaza. His name is Musa El Haddad. How are you doing, Mr. El Haddad? Yes, I'm fine. So far, I'm still alive. Okay. We are glad that you are still alive. Uh, thank you both for joining us tonight. Uh, have you, I'm sure you have been speaking to your father. Uh, tough for you at this, at this point, I would imagine, to be here in the U.S. and to know that your father is in harm's way. Absolutely. I mean, it's mortifying. We're, I mean, minute to minute, I'm trying to get updates in whatever way I can by either communicating with him, calling him uh, on his landline. Uh, the, the mobile uh, uh, telecommunications centers have been uh, bombed, so that's, I'm not able to communicate that way. Uh, if we can, when he has electricity, which is about one hour in every 48, we, he tries to get online, we communicate on Skype, uh, that way giving us both, I think, a sense of security and safety, no matter how illusory. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I want to go now to, uh, to Musa, your father there, and uh, the sounds that we're hearing, uh, are from the live pictures that we are showing, and it could be mistaken uh, as happening in the background as, as Mr. El Haddad, as I talk to him. Um, how are you doing? And tell us what is going on around you at this point. Well, uh, the last nine days were horrible. It was a genocide by uh, all standards against humanity. Uh, everything that is living and beautiful is being targeted. All buildings, uh, children, women. Uh, this is not a war against Hamas. This is a war against humanity, against everything and everybody in this place. That was in the last nine days. But this last night, now it's almost sunrise here. It's uh, almost six o'clock in the morning. Uh, since uh, the beginning of last night, it's been a horrible night, uh, explosions, as you probably can see on the CNN, mm -hmm. explosions everywhere, killing everywhere. Uh, on the radio we hear uh, uh, ambulances, people asking for ambulances for help because uh, these bombs are falling on houses, not on uh, just Hamas uh, people. And by the way, those people who are defending the land are not just Hamas, it's everybody, Fatah, all other organizations. It's, uh, uh, I, I just cannot tell you uh, the situation here exactly. Okay. I had to move. I have to take the mattress off the bed and put it on the floor to stay away from the windows uh, to be able to speak to you because it's very noisy by the windows. You can hear explosions uh, all the time. Yeah, and we want you to stay out of harm's way. We appreciate you talking to us on CNN. I have just uh, real quick questions for you. Uh, are you alone? Uh, my wife is here next to me. You, how is your wife? Uh, she's, she's okay. She's also a physician. She's a pediatrician. Uh, she's uh, very scared, uh, but uh, we thank God that we are still alive. Yeah. Uh, Many people are not so much lucky. I spoke with uh, an Israeli spokesperson for the government a short time ago, and he says that Israel has no qualms, no problems with the Palestinian people, but yet and still uh, Palestinian people are being injured in that. They said that they have well, problems not, with not Hamas. Well, not just injured. They've been killed. 500 people have been killed. 10% of those are children. 5% are women. There are a number of people who are watching us right now uh, who have family members in the area, uh, and your daughter is watching as well and joining us here on CNN. Do you have a message for those people who may be concerned about their family members, Mr. Haddad? Well, uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, God is here, and I'm sure God would not leave these innocent people alone, although the whole world has. Uh, I know that people, civilians in, uh, in the whole world, in the U.S., Europe, and uh, every, everywhere else, have been demonstrating and uh, sympathizing with us.
but uh, we are here uh, supporting each other i mean as civilians uh, we pray to god just that this uh, situation will be over soon mm-hmm. and uh, these uh, uh, politicians and army people will come to their senses they have their families of their own and uh, i'm sure none of them would like to see what's happening in gaza to happen to their children and families mr haddad musa haddad and leila al haddad uh will you both stand by because i want to talk more especially to leila i've been wanting to find out leila uh how your dad is doing because he is in the middle of all of this happening now and i'm going to talk to you a little bit more will you both stand by just a bit and i'll talk to you after the break yes absolutely. all right thank thanks to both of you we'll talk to you in just a little bit in the meantime a ground Pictures from the Associated Press on the devastation in Gaza, and also you're looking at live pictures now. The top, that's Ramadan, uh, the one that's at the top of your screen, and you can see that sun is now, the sun is starting to come up in Gaza. It is almost 7 o'clock in the morning there, and we will get uh, the first daylight look uh, since this ground offensive went underway uh, earlier this afternoon here in the United States. And of course at the bottom there, there was uh, just seconds ago, that was the White House, uh, where we have heard a statement from the President, but we have not seen him on this situation. Before the break, we were talking with Leila El Haddad, a Palestinian journalist. She writes a blog called A Mother from Gaza, and we were talking to her father there as well. Her father is in Gaza. His name is Musa El Haddad. Uh, he told us about the situation, what he was enduring. Uh, we're looking at her blog now, and I have it up here on the screen as well, and I've been reading a little bit of it and how people have been responding to you and what you've been putting up there, Leila. Uh, I asked you about how you feel uh, knowing that your dad is over in harm's way, how has this affected your work? And have you written about this on your blog? Absolutely. I mean, I've been basically trying to write, uh, convey my conversations with him, convey their emotions, their fear as they're living through this, having lived there myself and having raised my son there for the first few years of his life. I know what it's like to live uh, under this constant fear, this terror, uh, under Israeli bombardment and sort of being the news yourself not knowing, not being able to quantify in any way what's happening around you. It's an absolutely uh, terrifying feeling. And so I've been trying to convey that, as I mentioned, on my blog. I've been pretty much hysterical, unable to sleep, unable to thinking about them, thinking about all my family and friends over there. And, and my mother yeah. and my aunts and my uncles and my, you know, et cetera, my cousins. I asked your father this, what he wanted people here to know about uh, families uh, in Gaza. What do you want people here in America to know? Can you help them deal with the situation? Obviously, it is, it's unbelievable to watch these pictures and unnerving as well uh, to see what's going on. Absolutely. I mean, it's a modern day Warsaw ghetto. It's, it's unprecedented in modern history that you have a population that is stateless, that, that is uh, occupied and that is besieged and that is the majority of these people in the Gaza Strip are refugees. Refugees who fled from their homes in 1948. The same homes that are, you know, where rockets are falling, these were the homes of these Palestinian refugees that are now living in Gaza. Unprecedented in modern history that an occupied okay. stateless people. I mean, these people basically want their freedom and the more, instead of aggravating, uh, you know, uh, Palestinians, we need to address okay. their demands for their human rights, you know, their uh, ability to, to achieve human rights and dignity. Leila El Haddad, we appreciate you joining us. Writes a blog, it's called A Mother from Gaza. If you want to keep up with her, keep up with her family, uh, you can go to that blog, A Mother from Gaza, and I think it's blogspot.com. Thank you very much for that. We're going to let you go uh, so that we can uh, uh, continue on our coverage here. Uh, is her father still with us, guys? Yes, I okay. am. Okay, are you still? Am. Yes. Uh, let so let me tell you something. Last night, n- n- the, up till now, the uh, eleven mosques have been bombed. Mosques are holy places, just mm-hmm. like churches. Last night, uh, two rocket attacks from F-16, American-made F-16. Two rocket attacks were fired at a mosque during uh, Maghreb prayer time, and 16 people were killed during praying. Okay. And probably you saw those on, on the TV screens on the CNN. Yes, we did. Sir. You know, s- pictures are horrible. I mean, it's just, uh, 
You know, I'm I'm talking to you with my arms trembling. I I just cannot explain the situation. And this is not again. This is not a war against Hamas. This is with a, with all what this word means. It's a holocaust Mr. against humanity. Mr. El Haddad, our thoughts are with you. Thank you very much for joining us. Please stay safe. Our continuing coverage here of the crisis in the Middle East continues next hour uh, and all night right here on CNN. Much much more straight ahead.